guys, Brad here from Job Fitness, Job Fitness Camps. Uh, welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you today uh, how to make a very, very healthy meal um, using uh, salmon, full of good fats, full of protein. Uh, it's so, so simple this meal. So uh, we're going to make uh, some salmon cakes today. Uh, and they're so simple to make and they taste delicious. So uh, I've already got a couple of fillets that have like, steamed for about 10 or 15 minutes uh, so I'm going to take the lid off that and I'm just going to put these fillets in a bowl over here so I'll just get a spoon and I'm just going to put them in a bowl so I have roughly about three to four hundred grams uh, of salmon and then what I'm going to do and you just want to steam your salmon until it kind of starts to break away. And then I'm just going to mash that salmon up with a fork. Still a tiny bit pink in the middle of that salmon, which is how we want it. Once you've mashed it up, it just looks like that. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. We're going to add a little bit of salt. And we're going to mix that. Alright. Next thing we're going to do is I have some, some red curry paste. And we're going to add oh, about a tablespoon if you like. Uh, your hot paste and things, you can add a little bit more. Uh, I don't mind it. So. And we're going to mix that in. So you should get a nice red tinge to your salmon uh, once you're mixing that in. So next piece of the puzzle, we're going to add some spinach, about 100 grams of, of washed spinach. Now for this recipe, you can just uh, quickly fry your spinach off with with the onion, which we're going to put in there as well. Um, so you can do that, and I usually do that, but I'm not doing that today. So you just quickly saute your onion and your spinach together for two or three minutes. Uh, but I'm just going to mix it in today. So I'm going to add my spinach, I'm going to add my chopped onion. So usually I would saute that off in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. But today I am just going to mix it all in. And this is where you can get your hands dirty a little. I like to to mix it all in with my hands now. So combining the spinach, so just one egg we're going to crack straight in there. And going against the grain to what I would usually have uh, but for the sake of this recipe today, I'm going to also add some oats, usually I would leave them out, um, but for the sake of this recipe I'm going to add them in as well. Just add a bit of texture to them but normally I would leave those out. So about 40 to 60 grams uh, of the oats as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to mix them together. Mix it all together until it starts to bind. So once we've binded that all together, what I've got here is some little egg rings and I've just got a tray with that, some baking paper on them. So all you want to do is just make little cakes with these and just put them in the mould and they'll make a, a perfect little shape for your onion, for your ring as you can see there. And you just take that off and away you go. So, so this should make a few cakes and then um, once you've made them, put them in the oven 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, so we'll do that and then I'll come back at the end of this video. So our salmon cakes are out of the oven, about 12 to 15 minutes uh, at about 180 degrees. I uh, got the job done. Uh, so here is the finished product. Give you a closer look. And three or four of those paired with uh, some sweet potato fries from my Facebook post the other day. Uh, some sweet potato mash with some avocado, salad, veggies are all perfect. Um, pairings for, for this awesome meal so uh, super easy to make please give it a go I'd love to hear your feedback 
either via our website or via Facebook on how you got on and what you think of this recipe. Uh, my name's Brad Hodgetts from Jolt Fitness, Jolt Fitness Camps. Uh, jolt yourself into life. Please give this recipe a go and uh, I'll speak to you soon.